mira, primero, antes de nada, me tienes que sacarte una confusión. Porque yo conozco a DJIT, yo conozco a Freak, y yo conozco a Freak and the Smiling Opusta, y yo conozco a José, por supuesto. Y siempre tengo dudas de quién estoy hablando en una u otra <risa> <risa> circunstancia. Pero tú tienes diferentes proyectos. Many por names. Exactly. Many names. Many projects. Many, many names, ideas. Many, many characters. So, yeah. Uh, a Freak is uh, my band. Hmm? Uh, IT, DJIT, as my DJ. DJ. And African the Smiling Orchestra is uh, it's a project with uh, with another friend that is like developing African style but in a different uh, platform. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so your your own work, so to say, is most is as African. Yeah, yeah. And either with or without the Smiling Orchestra, and IT is uh, your the other incarnation for other purposes. Yeah, the social work more. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> nice. yeah that's a good concept. Yeah, is yeah. it? Yeah. It's like uh, DJ said, I take it like as a social work, like as a sociological thing, like a, yeah. I don't know, sex psychiatrist. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, that's a good description of a good DJ, you know, to get all these people together and have a same feeling and a nice, uh, relaxed atmosphere on yeah. them where you want to take it. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a playground. The, the party is a playground. Everyone gets like a, like a child, so like entertain and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. then ping, boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I remember hearing. Um, in your music, because Africa gives us a reference to Africa, and mm -hmm. you also mentioned uh, uh, African influence and certain instruments and so forth. Um, so, how did it, how did this the interest in in African music or the African elements come about for you? Uh, it's because uh, when I started making music, I was uh, like uh, listening a lot of um, ethnic ethnic music. So then I discovered that uh, the Afro Mandingue music like um, in Africa, like center of Africa, Guinea, like there's a, um, like a syncopatic way of see the, seeing the rhythm, you know, just not, not like a fourth to floor on the floor, like, like we were used to, to see it. So not like more like tak, 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 more, more like this, this thing that, uh, that you can create with, um, with the analog work, with the, with the drums, you know, sometimes when, when you hear a band, Afro band, you, you think, ah, no, this is like sharp, but but it's not. When when it's making all the sound, it's, it's sounding like woo, 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 more like yeah. a cloud, more more yeah. more undulate vibes, yeah. you know. So what I want to to do is uh, to mix this, you know, to to make it woo, not not make it sharp, you yeah. know. And and the, the rhythm patterns of the African music have have this identity who to catch the like the the compass and. Changing, changing the brakes, you know, that, that's uh, yeah. what I like. It's true also because it's something that's very clear in one of the tracks that will be on your release for Clan, where it's very clear that the drums is playing a game with the listener because it's never exactly where you expect it to be, but still it's enough to it captures you and it pushes you you forward. Yeah, it's like you're, you're, you're searching the, the one, 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 but it's not, but then oh, you catch it, but then like again uh, make no. you in the, in a, yeah. So you're playing games with these uh, with these very uptight Europeans. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's a, it's a game. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Because you're, there's also a very particular humor, as I hear it in your music, which is maybe better de described by yourself because you use this reference to a playground. Yeah, yeah, and also like uh, more like a playground. When when I make music, it's like a Pandora box. I call it, because uh, I use this myth uh, in my obsessions because it's like. For example, like uh, music is like a, the music box, you know. So in this music box, you can get like I don't know Afro music, you can get uh, reggae, you can get like, dub, rock, thirties um, music or ancient music. Like I, I like all the kind of music. Yeah. So this when I, what I do is like to put it in a, in a <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the mix of this, so and to you play with the humor because, for example, in my first album, like. Uh, one, uh, I was playing like, for example, like uh, African Cora, which is like an African harp, and then we mix it with a uh, wino from Peru. So like the same guitar, but it's sounding the same. But then it flips in the, in the middle of the song, and then like uh, like you feel ah you're in Africa, but then you're in Peru. But then 
sounding right and together well yeah. so that's the humor and yeah yeah so it's like you're listening for surrealistic uh, style right kind yes of, yeah. but also in order to make this surrealist mix work you have to look for that which uh, connects these two different yeah. worlds yeah so that's really where where, where your personality comes in mm -hmm. in making these choices mm -hmm. and finding these uh, these mm -hmm. situations yeah and um, i know that some of this w work came about also some of these um, uh, work started when I believe you were in Be Berlin a couple of years ago. You had yeah, time yeah, yeah. to work concentrated in the studio setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was working uh, with uh, Tobias Neumann. Uh, I was staying in his home, so we make a, a lot of like kind of projects together. And now I'm in July. I'm coming to Berlin to like to make some some new works. So now I'm gonna play his birthday party. He said like no. IT, you have to come, so then, yeah, we exchange and uh, we make a studio time, so no, so I'm, I'm very excited about that, and yeah, like, uh, Berlin is a very important thing to, to go to see, like, I feel like, like, as I develop my work, now I don't need to be in Berlin, you know, because, because when you already capture the vibe, you're, you, you have it, and then you can be everywhere, and, and you know how the, like, you have your own style. But it's good to go and see and, and catch up the vibe and yeah. yeah. Maybe it's also good that you give something back because if you go to Berlin to, and you get new insights, inspirations and so forth and as that mature then you have something unique to bring back mm -hmm. because this whole process that you have been through is uniquely yours and it's something that you can give back to. Yeah, yeah and the thing is uh, like uh, I feel super happy now because I, I really feel like that that uh, with the Smiling Orchestra, with my other friend, uh, we have some, some certain like uh, color in this uh, rainbow. So uh, I, I want to keep pushing this, like because we already have a color. So that's how I'm very excited. I'm very excited about this uh, new area about uh, this Africa because we were kind of hiding. I don't play it too much live. I play a lot as a DJ. Like I play in every places here in Santiago, but. As an um, African project, not too much because the sound system are not too good still, you know. They don't get paid, but what is really the thing, you know. So um, now the, we are becoming kind of not success, but we are playing in Lollapalooza Festival, we are playing in a, a lot of parties, playing live. So that gave me a lot of excitement because, yeah, it's. it's Finally, this big uh, snowball is making big, and we are going actually to New York to play mm -hmm. with you. And yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah. And it, it seems that the, the Smiling Orchestra is a variable size orchestra, no? Because in Lola Palusa, you um, were playing with a few band members. I think I saw a Sita on stage. Yeah, is yeah. That correct? Yeah, yeah. We have like a, there, there's two modes. One mode is more electronic when we go only Afrique and Smiling Orchestra, like two guys. It's more electronic, more techno, more kind of that. And when, when it's like when we have the money to pay, like our big orchestra, uh, we make it uh, with a bass line, with a rulo of Los Tetas, which mm -hmm. is like a famous band of funk in Chile. A uh, percussionist from Panico, which is a punk band up here. Uh, Cecilia Benar uh, is a singer, uh, another girl. Uh, Jesús también is uh, another um, singer. Uh, a Chino, we plays the sitar, uh, like we have a lot of uh, Lata, another friend, we, we make electronic music also, so like it's a, it's a gathering, you know, it's a gathering of, of because uh, what I like is like to gather all the people in this, my vibe could, could say mm -hmm. uh, the most electronic thing, but everyone put his flavor, like punk flavor, uh, funk flavor, mm. and we mix it all together and, and it's coming out. It I sounds think. like what you explained to me, your philosophy in mixing genres and styles and, and from different regions and countries and instruments, like you're doing it with a smiling orchestra, but you're doing it with, with people. You're looking yeah. for the chemistry of personalities and how that can... Yeah, know. because I think like like every instrument has the color. What I said to you about the rainbow is like... A, like a, mm, full of colors and so we can mix and we can make it like a beautiful drawings with this and different feelings yeah. don't have to be I don't want to to be like engaged to a style of music yeah. like for me I like I use electronic music I electronic music is now is everything is electronic you know exactly. every time you have to go for this process 
but what I what I use is just a, like the boost maybe, but it's just a, just a kick, you know. Yeah. But the end, the, the all the emotions that come inside is like whatever obsessions um, in yeah. the Pandora box. No? Yeah, yeah. So um, when you started playing, you were mostly DJing, and then little by little you discovered a need to do something. No, else? I was uh, when I was a child. I was in the school, and I was uh, I buy a drum, and yeah, like rock bands and everything. And then, like, I don't have a uh, place uh, to, to rehearse. So the drums is something that you have to have, like, all the time. You cannot, like, just say, no, you have to go at five to a studio, and then, yeah, boom, boom. No, so when you're a child, you need the instrument right behind you. Mm-hmm. And so I decide to cut out, and, and, and I sell the, these uh, drums, and I, buy, and I go to the U.S. with my mother, and we buy, like, uh, with this money, I buy, like, a 808. So then I started in the school making electronic music with nobody knows, like I was in a German priest college, like <laughs> mixing yeah. electronic in, in the year uh, 95, you know, so it's like, yeah. uh, but then slowly, slowly, then I started to make music, so I like to uh, play as a DJ in yeah. uh, college parties, and then like, yeah, I started to get more professional, and then I studied graphic design, so I was going to the parties, going to the agency, and yeah. it was like, really not like, so I have to choose yeah. between like uh, design or, so I choose music because uh, I think music is a very magical thing uh, to, to open minds, so, and the other thing, design was like, yeah, I'm designing things for, you know, for a brand, which is like, I, ne- I don't like the product or so like, yeah. And no, it's true. It's much more satisfying music, always because you know, there's an immediate response from yeah. the audience, and the the kind of friendliness or sort of intimate feeling with your colleagues and all this. I think is is really lovely, and it's a kind of a ceremony that is thousands of years See, old. See, you know, and, and you get something, you know, you, because I, I already have 15, 15 years playing as a DJ, so. Now I see how how the like the relationship uh, between all my surroundings are, are. They say like, oh, one guy came to me like, oh no, you know, I remember when we meet with my girlfriend and you were playing and we were like <laughs> having big. Now we were married, you know. Yeah. So this kind of thing that you don't get it in the in, in other jobs and okay. other stuff. So yeah. so give me like super good choice to to be in music now. Yeah, yeah. Super. Yeah. Yeah, so it's fantastic that it's taking off now, that you are um, more and more, as it seems, leaving perhaps be, uh, behind your DJing and getting more and more involved with your own. Mm-hmm. What I want now is like to, to, to take a break because I'm already like three years non-stop making music and playing music. So this is quite exhausting. I, I really want to stop a, a DJing style because when you play like four times in a week and then like uh, Sunday you have to sleep and then Monday you want to make music then you make music until the na- 8 in the morning so yeah. then like yeah then the start you know yeah. you don't have too much uh, yeah. for your girlfriend or your family so That's true. Now I want to now I want to after we go to New York I'm gonna take a little oh yeah 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 see. that sounds like a good thing mm-hmm. yeah. well, but I think it's fantastic that we are able to do this uh, with you and uh, to um, have these, all these very interesting things that you're doing in, uh, in, on this platform, I think is really interesting. And uh, I know that, uh, because I've heard what you have, that you have very many interesting things, so I know that there are lots of good stuff to, to come still. So, Yeah, I'm very excited to, to be part of this Clank family. <laughs> Bien, pero entonces yo entiendo que ya estamos a punto de sacar English. varios temas. <laughs> Genial. <laughs> No necesitamos un aplauso, ¿no? Okay. So, um, as I understand, we're, you're just about finishing a couple of uh, tracks for for your upcoming release on on Klein, and we've been speaking about how you have been moving, uh, handling your life as a DJ, as and as a freak with your artistic vision. Mm-hmm. So this material will be a freak. Yeah, it's going to be a freak and the smiling orchestra, and yeah, I'm try to. Uh, it's already kind of finished. So I'm very glad to be in a clan family now. So yeah, like uh, after the, our gig in New York, I think I'm gonna um, go down to Mexico and then come back to Chile, you know, to, to uh, find more releases and yeah. Yeah, perfect. 
So when people are listening to this conversation, then this will be this will already be there, and all yeah. this will be history. Yeah. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> so thanks a lot. It's really great to have you here. Yeah. Yeah.